Thank you. Welcome back. Now, my final guest burst onto the big screen in the epic <laughs> drama, <laughs> 300. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the champion of the bit here. <laughs> And he's now one of Hollywood's most in-demand leading men. His leading ladies include Jennifer Aniston and Jodie Foster, and his latest film, Law Abiding Citizen, sees him going head-to-head -head with Jamie Foxx. Will you please welcome the man himself, Mr. Jared Butler! <laughs> I have to warn you, they're chomping at the bit, this loss. I, yeah. But we've I, electrocuted just there down there. <laughs> and I've got a cattle prod under here in case I... Now, there's something I want, because I don't want to upset your mother. Is it Jared Butler? Jared? Or Gerard? Or Jared? Uh, Gerard. Jared. Gerard. Jared. Good. No, you're saying Jared. Jared. It's <laughs> Gerard. Er, er, Gerard. Gerard. There you go. There you go. Gerard. 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 I'll tell you something from Dr. Finley's case book. <laughs> Gerard. Hey, Dr. Finley. Now, you made your stage debut in Somewhere Elaine, and I know really well the King's Theatre. I was 12 when I was in Oliver, um, Oliver Twist, and... I, I, uh, I was only in the workhouse gang and Fa you know Fagan's gang. Yeah. Now, the workhouse boys and Fagan's gang. You know, it was the first thing I ever did, and it was just like an amateur production. I had the best time ever, but oh, um, I certainly wasn't running the show. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about the four micer dressing room in there. They, they had the dressing room. The number one it was all four micer when you went in it. Everything. It was looking like you could hose I, it down in case there was a fight. <laughs> You wouldn't have been allowed in there. No, that no. no. I you mean, would now, Jerry, but Oh, now they would. Now they decorate it. They knock five into one. I was slung in with the three dogs. Get on with this. I thought, well, at least if they make a mess, I can just ose it. Have you been up recently? Have you been back to Glasgow? Uh, yeah, I was just up there for the premiere of the... Uh, oh, of course, movie. it opened in Glasgow, Law didn't it? Citizen, yeah, so... Went up there and I had 120 family and friends. That's my <laughs> guest list. So it was every great aunt, great uncle, aunt, <laughs> uncle, brother, sister, step, step, brother, step, you know. Everybody was there. And then all my friends from primary and high school. I mean, it was actually <laughs> a very intense That's experience bad. trying to say hello to everybody over the course of... I, I had allotted them 25 seconds each. <laughs> Would have actually still taken two and a half hours. So you, you, you never get a chance to get a drink because just as you're going to take a sip, you go, oh, hello, oh, yeah, exactly. that's all this business. But also, people get very offended if you don't remember their name that's as right. well. You've got yeah. That's yeah. why you call everyone darling. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's especially right. when it's your mother. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I know you. I know, I know I know you. <laughs> I, I does, your mom, does your mum treat you any differently? Now, you know, because of Hollywood, now you're a big star over there. Um, no, not really. No. no I, mean, I mean, she. She still, she still is. Uh, she asks questions yeah. like like a fan sometimes. I said, yeah, "Oh, yeah. who did you meet?" and blah blah blah. But when it comes to the day in day out stuff, no. I mean, yeah. I'm still. I still have to do all the housework. I still, <laughs> you know, I still, you know, I, I, I I'm still a little boy, you know, and I still am allowed to uh, swear around her because you know I like to <laughs> drop the odd bad word every now and again. Oh, Gerald! Oh, son, don't don't be using that language. <laughs> Um, and by the way, you know, if you're watching, mm. um, you probably are watching, I say I still have to do all the housework. I don't have to do all the housework at all. What I mean is she still makes me do housework. You're taking this home for yourself, aren't you? But your man, when you get home, you're going to get into trouble. Is the fish and chip shop still there in Leith Walk, where you used to live? Uh, I don't know. I haven't been down there. But, um, God, you've done your research. Right? Well, I'll tell you what, because I used, when I was doing the Edinburgh Festival, I was right, you know, right down the far end of Leith Walk, the right. rough end by the docks. That right, end. right, right, right. I rented a flat. <laughs> For the, you know, for the thought, this isn't about, it's a bit fancy though, with all these strange lamps and dolls and what have you, and odd things in the bedroom. It was a working girl's flat. <laughs> <laughs> all through the night, the bell was going. <laughs> Shall I open the shop here? I thought I'd recognised you from somewhere. <laughs> I used to offer you. I had me on the step. <laughs> <laughs> And you're like this to me, you again! You yeah, again! That's three times today! How was your, how was your 40th birthday? Was that all right? Um, I don't know, I haven't had it yet. I no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I, seven I, I, years away. I'm waiting for mine, you say, God help me. Um, it's a it, funny one when you're at 40, isn't it? It's, it's, uh, it's been a little weird. I mean, in actual fact, I don't know if it's, if it's hit me yet. It was, it's been, I've been on the road um, doing a lot of travel, doing a lot of press for, the, for this film, and then organi I organised a big party down here in London. It's been a crazy few days yeah. because we had a big party down here, then I had a 
dinner in Glasgow with the family and there was me and I had to share it with my little nine-year-old niece and then I had the premiere <laughs> and look my, look at this I woke up I've got my eye has just I think it's the, the, the stretch look 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 there's some up. volunteers <laughs> out there <laughs> lying down in cottage in place and there's I have some a sore leg, who'll kiss a sore leg, leg <laughs> and my shoulder's been given a lot of time what made you change career from lawyer to actor um, I was fired. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> being honest. Got enough um, reason. Uh, yeah, no, I, I totally. Uh, when I was younger, from from when I did Oliver, I, I I really wanted to get into acting. But you know what it's like. Yeah, in yeah. Scotland is, you know, I was 15 talking about getting into acting, and I was told, "Are you crazy?" Okay, you know, same yeah. Bit, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. I went into law and I studied that and it just became the next thing to do was yeah. to finish that off and then to get a traineeship. And when I was training, I, I knew that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, so I thought I would just mess it up. Did you go to a drama school? No, I didn't. Oh, didn't you? No, the day after it all ended, I literally, the next morning, I packed my bags and I moved to London and said, you know what? Why not just go for it? Is, what, is the film now, is this right? It's about revenge gone bad. <laughs> um, um, or it's revenge gone good. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's revenge it, it goes bad, but it's just, I mean, what happens is the beginning of the movie, my family are murdered. I mean, very typical suburban you know, husband. Um, my wife and daughter are killed right in front of me, and I'm left to die. It's pretty brutal. Uh, and then I, uh, you know, the, the prosecutor is more intent on making a deal and, and preserving his record. So I, I have no say in the matter, and that's what really tips me over the edge. So. I basically come back and on this huge killing spree to make everybody involved pay. Sounds like my kind of film, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's great. I think a couple of people out there have seen it. Uh, um, yeah. Two. <laughs> um, She's very eager, fact, that one on the engine. You know. yeah, <laughs> they, they pretty much know my every move in life, so... <laughs> Do they follow you around, those two? Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> you were there when I went to the toilet this morning. Um, <laughs> When I woke up and I turned around, you were lying next to me. Who does Jamie Foxx play in the movie? He plays the prosecutor. Yeah. Um, a character called Nick Rice, who himself has a family. So you kind of sympathise with yeah. him as well, because at the end of the day, he is only trying to get ahead in his own life. But um, originally, I was playing that role. And when we, off we offered the role that I played to Jamie, yeah. and, uh, but we figured he wanted to play the prosecutor. And I was producing it, so I wanted to get it made. So I said, well, do you fancy playing my role? Um, you know, are playing the prosecutor, and he said, "Yeah." And I went, "Okay, I'll play the other one." What's so it like? We swapped over just before. What's That's it? how we do it in this business. I'm not yeah. going to let you ask this question. You filmed in a real Nick as well, didn't you? I, I love that a real Nick. Um, <laughs> I did. Yeah, we did. What's a real um, Nick? A real, real life prison. prison. As, oh, you went yeah. to pr you went to prison. <laughs> Not in real life, Cleo. No, 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 not in real life, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, we filmed oh, I'm in interested a, now. We filmed in a, in a prison at... What did you say? I'm interested now. Oh, OK. Good. She, she likes means... the rougher elements. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> and that also means she hasn't been interested in anything else. I said. No, 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 she was <laughs> interested. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> you <laughs> turned me on, yeah. I'll tell you what. <laughs> hey! hey. You know what I'm going to do? I'm getting out of this hot bed. <laughs> I'm going to play a clip. Ben, please, let's have a look at Lord of Biden Citizen. <laughs> now, look, tell me this, will you, please? How do you manage to keep so fit? <clears throat> um, I, 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 I'm not sure if I do. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry. All right, uh, girls, calm down. How did you get a six-pack? Tell me the secret. Come uh, on. Glass I, I, I think <laughs> that particular one was liposuction. <laughs> um, um, 300, it was a bodysuit. No, it, 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 um, it, a lot of training, you know. Yeah. And, and the thing is, when it, whenever I know that I have to do something like that, there's that feeling of the first time I get back into the gym and I, I'm like, oh... God, here we go. It's the most boring thing on oh, it. It is, it? but once you get back into yeah. it, and and you know you get and everything gets the blood gets flowing again, you know, and and the, the um, it just it, you really start to feel great about it. You're not it selling it to me, are you? No, no. I'm not selling it to myself either. <laughs> Listen, good luck with the film. Really, I'm Thank looking you. forward to seeing it. And thanks for coming on the show. Pleasure. Oh, Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, wait a second, Jared Butler. There you go. Come on.